Have you ever had to let go of a dream to actually die? It is sometimes depressing, it is sometimes unfortunate and you feel it because it is a dream that you have had. But sometimes because of your financial journey, you have to let go of some dreams to die. Yes, you have to let go of some dreams to die. One of my dreams was to be able to build a nice home, a nice home for my family. But the site tricked, uh, has proven to be a lot trickier. The expenses that I need to incur to be able to build a house on this hilly site have proven to be too much. And it has made no financial sense to invest in this house, in this particular location. I have had to adjust this expectation because while the place might be beautiful, while the views might be wonderful, the expenses are not exactly glamorous and it is going to set me back financially a lot lot further behind because I would be investing in an asset that may not bring good financial outcomes for me and my family. The rate of return on this property may actually be a lot lot lower like 3% which is much lower than my expected rate of return of at least 10% on the investments that I make. And because of this I have had to let this dream die. How many dreams do you have or how many things are you pursuing that are counterproductive to your overall financial well-being? You need to make a deep financial decision. Be, go away from the emotional state of making a decision because it is what is making you happy. But look at the cost plus benefit analysis. Is the cost much more than the benefit you will actually derive from investing in this opportunity that you have been looking for? Are the expenses going to outweigh? Is it going to be too costly to actually manage this thing? Is it going to uh, uh, take more money from yourself? Is it going to make you go into debt? I have met several people who have had to go into much more expensive debt when they are building their personal house. They, they start by a certain specific budget. You are going to say have 2 million Kenya shillings to invest in this construction. But along the way, either they adjust the drawings or the, the building itself or they add more glamorous outfittings because their thought is this is our home and we need to make it as fancy and as comfortable as it needs to be. Or as they are building, they find out new opportunities uh, in terms of new furnishes and new uh, things that they need to put in their new house to be able to make it what they consider a dream house. And because they have already incurred debt, they have already taken loans of the two million, they end up having to adjust their budget for construction to say 3 million and the 1 million may be financed by subpar loans. Pursuing a dream which is indeed a good thing but adjusting the dream to fit your new reality but with money that is going to cost you a lot more money. They ended up having to uh, incur more debt at bad interest rates for a longer period of time and they could have otherwise had the cash that they are paying as interest on loans and the repayments go towards investments that are going to give them a better return. A home is good, but it may not give you much more utility when it is simple as compared to when it is luxurious. So sometimes you have to let go of a certain dream that you are trying to pursue no matter how uh, 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 fulfilling it may be because it may not have financial sense. So sometimes you need to let go of some dreams in your life. What are these dreams that you are having that are going to be counterproductive to your financial goals? You need to determine this because I do not want you to enter into debt. I don't want you to enter into financial or to have financial distress. I don't want you to pursue things that are going to be never ending and ever costing your finances. I hope that you are learning every day. You are growing and are becoming better in your financial journey. Remember to subscribe to the channel, to leave a comment down in the comment section and to like this video. Thank you. My name is George, your online finance guy. Thank you and enjoy your day.